Lesson number three, God's honor roll. Hebrews chapter 11. The hall of faith that is, becomes possible through the grace and power of an indwelling Christ. What is faith? Many attempts have been made to paraphrase Paul's statement. Faith is the substance of Substance, that which remains under, substance, takes its stand, the bedrock, the basis of hope. Faith is the bedrock of hope. It's that which lies under. It's that which convinces us that hope is a reality. Then he goes on to say, faith is evidence. Now it can only become evidence when we see it in other people. We are now beginning to incorporate it, and so then he goes on in this chapter to give evidence of faith. It worked in him, and him, and him, and him, and him. In this chapter, I think there are about 26 people, episodes, that are mentioned here that are to exemplify and give evidence of faith. Faith is trusting in God, believing that he loves us, knows what is good for us. Thus, instead of our own way, it leads us to show faith by choosing his way. In place of our ignorance, accepts his wisdom. In place of our weakness, we take for granted that his strength is functioning us. In place of our sinfulness, his righteousness. Our lives, ourselves, are ready. His faith acknowledges his ownership, accepts his blessing. <coughs> Part number two, examples of faith. Paul begins with Abel, Enoch, and Noah. And as we analyze these three men, Abel showed his faith by worshiping God in the way God wanted. Enoch showed his faith by walking with God along the path he wanted. And by faith, Noah demonstrated how to work for God in building the ark for 120 years. So the emphasis of these three is to call attention to areas in which we should display our faith. The right kind of worship, the right kind of daily walk, and the right kind of working. He moved, Noah was moved with fear. Ridicule, Never rained, building an enormous boat in dry land, making many compartments. He was the butt for 120 years of all the jokers that could wander around the ark. But the end result for these three men personally was different, ultimately was the same. Abel was the first martyr. He died for his faith. Enoch was the first translated. He was taken to heaven for his faith. So these two represent those who will be resurrected and those who will be translated. Faith produces both the resurrection and translation. Faith also produces salvation through works. As James says, a man is saved not by faith only. He must, through faith and love, put into practice by working the way God wanted him to do. The balance of this between faith and works is the whole basis of, of salvation. The next group that is emphasized here for nine verses is Abraham and his descendants. This clan, this group of men and women, constitute the most important nucleus of people in salvation history. Abraham was the Everest of the Old Testament, towering above everyone. And 
Paul goes out of his way to trace him from Earl of the Chaldees all through the years of wandering, looking for a city that had foundations. His tents had no foundation. When he moved away from place to place at God's bidding, the only trace of anything that he had been there was the altar made of stone that he left. There was no mark of his tents. There was no mark of his passing. He was a sojourner in a land that was not his. He had not so much as to put his foot on. But he showed faith. He showed faith in doing that. Then the time came for him to have a son. He and Sarah tried for 25 years. Or who knows how long. 25 years is the record given in the gospel in the Genesis after he arrived in Palestine. They were married before. But when both of them believed, by faith Sarah conceived, by faith Abraham begot. The two of them got together, the two of them worked, the two of them worked by faith and Isaac was born. And this act constitutes the basis of the theological discussion in Romans and James. James stresses the work part of this activity. Paul stresses the faith part of this activity. When faith worked by love, it accomplished the divine purpose. And the whole line of the Messiah was founded. In this, Isaac too had a part. He surrendered when he was about 19 years old to be tied on a stone altar to be put to death. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. He knew that there was a long line that was beginning then and he Bless them by faith. Compared with Abraham, Isaac's life was a very quiet, surrendered, peaceful existence. But he makes the hall of faith. Our lesson contrasts uh, Jacob and Esau and Joseph with his two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim to call attention to the fact that above and beyond all the activities of men God was working to carry out his grand design. Part number four. The parents of Moses, Moses, Israel, Joshua, Rahab. These are the ones that we consider today. Parents of Moses, enlightened by angels, knowing that their son had a special ministry for God, hid him by faith. A capital crime in those days. By faith, Moses refused to be called the heir apparent, which is the meaning of the son of Pharaoh's daughter, because the line went through Pharaoh's daughter. He refused it. Willing to suffer for a time, that he might endure forever. By faith Israel walked into a tunnel with a wall of water each side. An immense flood could have engulfed them any moment. They passed through, perhaps with bated breath, following the fire and the light till they came on the other shore. Israel showed tremendous faith at the Red Sea. By faith, the woman Rahab, the only one in Jericho, believed the report she had heard, hid the two spies, influenced her family, became an ancestress of the Messiah. By faith, each one of these played their part in carrying out the divine design for their lives. It was a different design for each person. But each person in his unique circumstances had to 
exercise this gift of faith that was given him by the Spirit. Part number one. Six heroes of faith. Now as you make this list, Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, and Samuel, you realize that these people did really only one great thing in their lives. What would you think about it? How did Gideon show his faith? How did Barak show his faith? And Samson? Would you have put Samson in this list? Jephthah. One campaign. Making a strange dedication of whatever came of his ho- outside of his house should be the Lord's. If it had been a dog, he would have had to give the value. If it had been a donkey, he would have to give the value. If it had been a lamb or a ram, he would have to sacrifice it. It happened to be a daughter. And so as Leviticus says, he had to take the daughter to the, to the priest and evaluate her. And the amount is given in Leviticus. His act of dedication and obedience made him reach the Hall of Fame. What would you say David did? Main thing. Organize. Prepare for the temple. Write brilliant psalms. What did he do? Was it his repentance for his adultery and murder? Paul doesn't tell us what acts these people carried out. Samuel, schools of the prophets, yielding when he was the chief executive officer of Israel, yielding to Saul, he must increase, I must decrease. Was he the John the Baptist of the Old Testament? These all exercised faith. And as we review these persons, we say to ourselves, what am I doing that will enable Jesus Christ to say, well done, well done. These all looked for the glorious hope, the future, the reality. We are homeward bound. A little longer, strife will be over. May we stand the heat of the conflict, ever keeping before us a vision of things unseen, of that time when the world will be bathed in the light of heaven, when the years will move on in gladness, when over the scene the morning stars will sing together and the sons of God will shout for joy, and God and Christ will unite in proclaiming there shall be no more sin, neither sorrow, no crying, there shall be no more death. Forgetting those things which are behind, reaching forth to those things which are before, let us press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. These all died in faith, keeping their eyes on that wonderful goal. May the Lord help each one of us to be recorded at last in his hall of faith.